You guys ready for this? <laughs> now I'm in New Orleans. Right now, I'm in New Orleans. I've been here once before. Never went food exploring, never went on a ghost tour. I feel like I haven't even been here. What's wrong with me? But today, we're gonna change all that. Food adventure, New Orleans edition. Right now, breakfast sandwich. It's a big sandwich. Now, a lot of people like myself don't really know the difference between Creole and Cajun, and there's actually a huge difference. I mean, if you're just talking about food, uh, the simplest way to describe it is Creole is city food and Cajun is more comfort food, country food. In Creole, they use tomatoes. In Cajun, no tomatoes ever used. A lot of similar ingredients, but it's really about the people and the heritage. Anyway, we're at our first location, Krabby Jacks. We're going for one of the must-eat food items here in New Orleans, Po' Boys. If you don't know, po' boy is, is basically a sandwich and it's made with French bread and usually it's seafood stuffed in the middle. Today we're getting one with duck. Let me show you what I ordered. Slow cooked pork chops with Creole seasoning smothered with mushroom oyster sauce with the Trinity ingredients. If you don't know, the Trinity is celery, green bell peppers, and onions. Sitting by a bed of dirty rice. This thing is so dirty. If you're not over the age of 18, you might need to turn away right now. House-made pork crackling. And then, of course, the duck sandwich. This is the main thing that brought me here. Look how airy, first of all, this bread is. Lettuce and tomatoes on top. And look at the duck meat. Smothered in sauce. I'm a little too excited right now. I almost love this bread. As much as I love that melty roasted duck meat inside. Oh, this is amazing. Duck. Tender, simmered perfectly. Such a nice savory gravy. And the texture of it, it kind of marries itself into the bread because both things are that gentle and soft. Slight crunch from the pickles and the lettuce, and then the creaminess of the mayo. And you want something completely different in texture. Pork crackling. Oh, so good. You will be addicted to this. Oh my god. Crunchiest lettuce thing with a touch of Creole seasoning. I don't even know what's better at this point. Taking my po' boy. Let's open it up. Some of these crackling down here. Oh. So you should definitely try that. Stuffed with duck. Stuffed with duck. I mean, this thing's a hot mess. You, duck will be falling all over the place. Tomatoes sliding out. Pickles staring you in the face from the table. And you're gonna love every single, every single bite of this. That woke me up. Hello, New Orleans. And this is a special they have going on. This is the pork chop with rice. Oh. I love this. This is so good. It's the meatiest dirty rice I think I've ever had. But this gravy. This is seriously everything that's good in this world on a plate. I'm so beyond happy right now. This is why every time I go somewhere, I always ask people like, is there anything I must try on the menu? And they recommended this today. This was special. I'm so happy. This is a great place. You gotta come here if you're ever in New Orleans. People, nicest, nicest. All right, I gotta finish this. Then, going for round two. I'm in the heart of the French Quarter going after one of my all-time favorite, favorite dishes, the jambalaya. And I heard this place right here, Gumbo Shop, makes one of the best ones. I'm trying the seafood one here for the first time. I love the chunks of seafood, there's tons in here. It's definitely low to like the ocean. Very thick, slightly slimy. It's a good gumbo, like I said, not the best I've ever had. I'm mainly here for the jambalaya. The jambalaya, I heard, this is one of the best places for it. But it's called Gumbo House, right? I had to get a gumbo. First time I had jambalaya, I was in a restaurant in New York. I didn't even know what a jambalaya was, and I just got it because it said rice, and I love rice. 
but after my first bite, that was it. I started searching all around the city for the best jambalaya. I never could really find one. Oh. It's a meaty, meaty jambalaya. That's the type I like. Chicken, pork, seafood. So you got your surf and turf covered. Holy Trinity here as well. Rice is tender. The sauce is slightly sweet, tomatoey. Spice, not overwhelming. I mean, it definitely gets you here, you know? This thing is really satisfying my Creole craving right now. So, come here, get the jambalaya. Maybe not the gumbo, it's jambalaya though. After a carb-filled morning, let's do some seafood. First thing on the agenda, barbecue shrimp. Mr. B's Bistro is supposed to have one of the best outfit change because the jambalaya attacked me a little bit. New shirt. If you also love tofu fighting, check out my new t-shirts in my merch store down below. Gotta get dipped up for this. Safety first. Oh, for sure. Now we can get a little crazy. How dangerous are these shrimps? Barbecue shrimp. Cooked in Creole seasoning. Monster. Monster shrimp. The aroma of the Creole spice, as soon as you even get close to this shrimp, this is waxing your face. Oh yeah. That. That is everything that's good in shrimp, right there. Oh. This is so good. If you didn't know, this is a shrimp cocktail right here. The original shrimp cocktail, right here. Take it apart. Don't be afraid to slurp this baby. Love your food, it's gonna love you back. Best part, most flavor, right here. If you're one of those people that gets freaked out by shrimp heads, call me, I'll be your shed. Shrimp head eater, buddy. Take the shrimp, eat the legs. Peel the show off. Dunk it in that peppery garlic butter sauce. It coats the shrimp so nicely. Oh gosh, this is the greatest thing. If you come to New Orleans and miss out on this dish, get yourself a return ticket. This is like one of the best, best, best dishes you can find here. Come here and get it. My goodness, this is so amazing. The sauce, little kick from the pepper, Perfect, smoky, smooth, buttery, with the sauce just adding that perfect balance of saviness and creaminess to the sweetness of the shrimp. Greatest thing about this little little sauce, take your bread. Let's go dunk it. This is one of the most dunkable sauce slash broth ever. I mean, it's just perfectly made for your bread. Bread, meet your soulmate. Wow. I get a little hole over bread, just this and the sauce. That's all I need. This wonderful lady there just reminded me I had this crispy baguette and I didn't even notice. This is the perfect vehicle for the sauce. You're welcome. Thank you, food, food fairy. Oh. And I know that's mainly the butter. I can feel my arteries clogging a little bit, but I, I don't even care. This is just so good. So good. This is the traditional gumbo, chicken and dewy sausage, rice. And this gumbo here, it's, uh, it's a little less thick than uh, what I had at the gumbo shop. And it looks like a whole lot less slimy, which I'm gonna be really happy about. Whole pieces of andouille sausage, nice big chunks of chicken. Mmm, it's good, sausage is good. Got a nice, nice heat to it. Perfect amount of heat. Mm. I remember the last time I was in New Orleans, the one food items I remember the most was grilled oysters. This place is supposed to have one of the best. Half Bay Oyster House. Here, gotta go for the char grilled oysters. A dozen, dozen might not even be enough, but let's start with a dozen. Heck yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Still sizzling in its own shell. 
covered in cheese and herbs and seasoning. This, way too good looking. I'm like borderline nervous seeing it in front of me right now. Fresh oysters covered in cheese and butter, herbs, spices. Look at that little pool that's left behind. <laughs> we gotta try one right now. Ooh, it is hot. Yeah, you gotta use a fork. Don't do what I just did. Do not pick it up. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so cheesy. Oh, this is so good. It's the game changer right there. Oh, really? He told me he's a game changer. I believe that man. What's your name? Curtis. I believe Curtis. I promise you. That's the one. All right. Smoked Tabasco. Char grilled oysters. Dash of smoked Tabasco. Curtis was right. That's a game changer. Because you already got a ton of butter and cheese on the oysters with a little bit of Tabasco. It definitely adds more depth to the already simply delicious oysters. Oh, this is the best part. A little bit of Tabasco, and you gotta dip your bread into the oyster juice and cheese and butter. So oh good, too good. I missed this so much last time I left New Orleans. Mm. I gotta come back more often. Cannot miss food item here. Cannot miss it. Been eating all day. I think it's dessert time. Um, Broussards. Let's go get some bread pudding. Ah, here it is. Bread pudding with praline sauce on top. Bouncy, warm. Love the crunch of the praline sauce. Looks like it could be overly sweet. Not at all. Just a great aroma of the spices inside the pudding. And the sweet, nutty praline sauce on top. This is off the charts bread pudding. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Amazing, amazing. Slow ovation is needed for this bread pudding. This is a banana foster special New Orleans dessert. Butter, brown sugar, splash of rum, making a fire. There it is. Banana Foster. <laughs> this is really great. I mean, if you like bananas licked by fire, soaked in rum and, and, and sugar, and let's be honest, who doesn't? You'll like this. I mean, it tastes exactly like all the ingredients that she added in there. It's a little buttery. Obviously, very, very sweet. Tons of rum flavor. I like the bread pudding better, but this is really good. You should get both when you're here. Good morning, ran out of time to eat last night. I had to go on a ghost tour. Uh, if you don't know, I'm actually live streaming on Twitch now, so if you wanna check that out, I stream several times a week. I'll put the link down below. But right now, breakfast, Gotta have some bennies at this super iconic place. And just a reminder, it's cash only, so I need to go find an ATM. I feel like I'm looking at like a deliciously fried snow covered mountain. Oh man, they do not skimp on the powdered sugar. And this is two orders right here. You could ski down the stink. Uh, this is, look at that. That is all powdered sugar. There's no way I'm gonna take a bite with all that powdered sugar, so. Avalanche, sugar avalanche, there we go. Perfectly golden, fried, a little toasty on the outside. I wouldn't say this is the lightest thing ever. I mean, this will definitely sit in your stomach and fill you up. But it is incredibly chewy and tasty. I feel like I, I need a little more powdered sugar with it. I really do. If you're eating those on a windy day, you're gonna look like a snowman after this. 
there's really no non messy way to eat this. And I don't usually drink coffee, but a sip of bitter liquid. Not a bad start to my day. It's a hot, sweet, sweet, toasty, guilty pleasure that's really gonna just, just cover you with sugar after you're done. One more thing to try before I head out of town. I wish I was here for another weekly out of the restaurants, but... Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I guess just an excuse to come back. I'll see you over there. I'm here at Celeste's, and this is a recommendation from a local friend of mine. He says, this is the place to go for crawfish, right here. And they cook everything right out in the open. When I order it, they're cooking it. You guys ready for this? <laughs> now I'm in New Orleans. This, this is it. Crawfish boil. And this is nearing the end of crawfish season, so all the crawfish, they're big. And they're just cooking it right on the side of the dining area outside. You can see them boiling everything. Uh, they're putting these in crab boil and some lemons go in, secret ingredients, and they steam it and soak it. And they told me the longer they sit in the brew, the better they taste. These are huge crawfish. Look at the claws on this baby. And here's how you eat one of these things. Break the tail off like so, right there. See all that meat's on the tail? And there's all that good stuff right in the head. And make sure when you're sucking on the head, you're squeezing it as well. So you're getting all that good stuff. Mm. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I am a crawfish zombie. I'm proud of it. Give me them brains. Mm. And a crawfish this size, don't forget about the claws. Just use your teeth as a, as a shell cracker and just suck on that sweet flesh. And remember guys, if it's not messy, you're not doing it right. Dig in, this is the fun kind of food. You can taste New Orleans in every one of these crawfish. The Cajun spices, the, the chilies, the herbs, the local freshness of the ingredients. This is my favorite meal in the Big Easy, for sure. I promise you, this is so, so amazing. Even the corn. Mm. So sweet and juicy. And again, soaked in this chili, all this great sauce. Thank you so much, Preston, for giving me this recommendation. It is amazing. I love this city. I love this. But guys, that wraps up my food adventure here in New Orleans. It's way too short, way too short, I know. I gotta get up to Seattle, but I will 100% be back. What an eye-opening food experience in the Big Easy. Of course, all the places I went to is listed in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.